Okay, okay. <laughs> enough from Bex tonight. Done. He's done. That's cool. Michelle just called it PTG Muay Thai, so we're even now. <laughs> we're, e we're even. <laughs> oh, it's all wins, happening here. Three draws and six losses. Fighting out of Jim, Team Assassins, please give it up for Pretty Killer, Iman Bala. Yeah, and I got one thing right. They were on the same team on Infusion Live TV. Sam Brown, and Iman Bala. So you're trying to save yourself. I am, I mean. absolutely. Right. And Iman, apparently an absolute legend, as is the Springbok, who is just one of those names that's been around and continues to fight at the highest level. Yeah. Well, I guess there's the odd kickboxing fight thrown in with that as well, particularly someone fighting in Europe so often. Yeah. But this is just going to be amazing. Absolutely. Well, to, to use an uncouth term, I am frothing for this fight. Frothing? <laughs> Absolutely frothing for it. It is going to be a cracker. I'm all warm and fuzzy. <laughs> you were when we started. <laughs> so let's uh, get this underway, folks. Five by two minute rounds in what really could be a world title fight. Imam Barlow. Yolanda Schmidt. 25 years old. Today is the pretty killer. Will today be the day? Where she gets a fight win for her birthday. We'll find out soon. Vex Tui ringside with the AK-47, who's a month away from his own unique challenge against the smashing machine, Steve McKinnon. Exactly the way I look at it, mate. Just another life challenge. No feeling out process from these two living legends. Good knees early from Schmidt. Interesting to see if Yolanda is allowed to use her size to bully because she's so often the bigger opponent yeah. at whatever foot. She, she regains weight so well. She cuts it to, so well too. That's a key. She's got to learn her, her weight cutting abilities and know what she can cut to. Very good. Heavy shots from the Springbok early. Turn nicely though. Beautiful technique there from the pretty killer. Back at range in the first of five. Oh, good hard jab. There. Lovely jab on the, on the chin from Barlow. Follows with a knee either side. Real class. Oh, Erupting above us, knee. AK. <laughs> yeah. Tell you what, there's a beautiful step up knee from Amman, but geez, Yolanda come over heavy with a right hand. Both of these girls are in for a long night at the office and they know it. Massive main event here on Naksu. Mark Cook wrangling the ladies back into centre ring. Barlow fires up top. Catch and release from Schmidt, who's trying to turn Barlow, but the pretty killer has shown a real nous in the in the grapple early. Yeah. Really hanging on to Yolanda and wearing it down then. So Yolanda. often Yolanda will just bully someone yeah. in that situation. And she's having some effect, but Barlow for a smaller opponent. Just technically proficient. Fires off both legs and cops one in return. Above our commentary position. How's the movement speed? Yeah. It's just, it's like calling Formula One. Barlow looking to capitalize. Balance from Schmidt nicely. And they're into the ropes. See that, that experience and pressure that she didn't quite get the take down. Uh, Yolanda fell away, but Aman followed it up just to put the pressure on. Lovely work. I love the step up in class. Neither woman particularly worried. The power of Schmidt, the crafty Barlow. I'm loving this early. Really liking Yolanda's head control in the clinch here. Schmidt taken down. Big smile, which is often Always the precursor smiling. to her yeah. <laughs> trying to kill someone. So oh, well, where's a bit of a kick to the head there? That right kick of, of Barlow changing levels so effectively. She's yeah. worked the body well late into the end of this round. She's uh, throwing that right knee very effective, but it's actually something that's setting it up. Bex, Aman has got a great cross face across her guard. So what she's actually doing is covering 
Yolanda's eyes, so she can't see where the technique's going to come from. Oh, what Yolanda's doing here, she could have quivered away at the opportunity to find a man, but she stepped up and wanted it. It's great. Absolutely. Never taking a backward step, and that's how she opens this round. Bex Tui, the AK-47, Chris Bradford. Thank you, JPS Codings. Thank you, Bolo Fightwear, for your sponsorship tonight at Parish Productions as well. This is our main event at Dynamite Naksu 3.0. Very even first round. Oh, good Probably catch going there from Yolanda. The way of the pretty killer in the gold shorts, but Yolanda Schmidt in the green has started with such aggression, and that's yeah. what she's known for. Yep. Beautiful catch and counter in from Yolanda before. Trying to free the arms to the elbow, but happy to work downstairs, both women. Good refereeing from Mark Cook just to let them yep. go because the knees are flying. That's at least a dozen. Good scoring techniques, a lock up. As you can see, the cross guard there with the knee, so that's when the separation will happen. There's no action to it. Whoever puts up that white flag first, the team. Oh, oh big oh. tinny kisser. Set up by that team to the belly, and then she went high with the opposite leg. That is class from the pretty killer. Conversely, though, you, you get someone that clean on the face and they keep coming, it's a tough situation yeah. to be in. Definitely. Um, this sort of range really seems to suit Barlow better than Schmidt. I think it does. The Yolanda either needs to be closer and working on the inside, I feel, all working completely outside and striking. Just as I say that, she starts to prove me wrong yep. and gets busy. That is class. That is experience, yep. okay? She adjusts it in there very well. Maybe she just needs a little bit of a time to adjust, Yolanda. That now is. she comes stalking the Springbok. Oh, Goes to work with those heavy hands and then a knee. We'll need to keep working or she'll get broken. Barlow fires back, tries for the takedown and nearly costs an elbow in return. This is amazing. Phone booth stuff. Yeah, that pressure from the man's huge. Yolanda's really doing well matching it though. There she comes forward again. Well, she knows she's got absolutely nothing to gain by backing off on Barlow. She's got to force the pace yeah. if she wants to win this fight, and that's exactly what she's doing. Yeah. Yolanda's swelling up under the left eye there, Bex. I think that teat before might have just caught the orbital bone and she's really starting to swell up under the left eye and i think uh andrew parnham has sent he has sent don miller back to the room oh, the extra go. ice right as you say that ak yeah, right. that's the sort of expert commentary you get <laughs> uh, from a multiple cmt champion two seconds. multiple australian champion good and jab good counter kick there from your land lovely finish to that there is plenty of times in this one, of course, because it's five by three minute rounds, that's the reason for the extended breaks there, folks. Yep. Very hard to do 15 minutes of high quality Muay Thai. Our main event at Naksu 3.0, round three, Yolanda Schmidt opening nicely with the right hand there on Imam Barlow. Ringside with me, the AK-47, Chris Bradford. Yep. Good knees, both girls. And a good trip there from Amman. You know, that exchange of the clinch there, Yolanda was doing really good. She had a great uh, grasp or, or clinch. The problem is Amman adjusted, so Yolanda lost it a little bit, like here. Big right knees. That right knee of Amman Barlow is a yeah. weapon. We can see it. It's inches away from our face. And then she follows it up by throwing it at the shin into the ribs. Again, trying to score it. She's closing off that vantage point, as you said there, AK, and that's when that right hand's coming, that yeah. right knee's coming out. But those knees are being so effective because of what she's doing up top, because of the grip, because of the hold she's got on Yolanda. A oh, good crossing right hand there from Conversely, Yolanda. the right hand from Yolanda Schmidt is the money maker. It is an absolute weapon. Barlow knows that, and that's why she's trying to slow those legs down. Two and a half rounds to go, folks. We're halfway through this one. Willing combatants. I love the way Yolanda just doesn't fear a mom. It, you know, some people can talk a tough game, but when you look in the eyes, you know everything, I reckon. Oh, yeah. And you see the eyes of Yolanda Schmidt. Amazing. Yeah. She loves to fight. But again, the most effective technique for the fight is the right knee of Imam Barlow. It is the one that is popping and locking, and 
Schmidt just gives back her own. Mm. A little bit of redness starting to appear on the UK Legends uh, left section there. Once again, that grip. Iman so quick at releasing her leaves. It doesn't give much chance for Yolanda to change her grip. Good change up for There's Schmidt that. there, and she's looking to let go of this right hand. Yeah. Right above us. Oh, intelligent oh, trip there. That's money right there. Yeah, that's that is experience. absolute money from Iman Barlow. But one of the great things about the mental makeup of Yolanda Schmidt it, is that when something like that happens, a lot of fighters get the shits and they, you know, they bow their head and they, yeah. you know, they shake their head or whatever else. She actually gets riled by it. She yeah. comes, she's so much better. You watch off this. I guarantee you, she she will be positive off this in, in, in this encounter. Yeah, smiling away, getting yeah. up, <laughs> and she'll be Pushing the first forward. to strike here. She, she, look at this, hunting her down. Good exactly. catch. Just love someone who's just never say die. Again, the knees of Barlow. She's trying to find a way to put the spring block on her backside. Ten seconds to go in this third round. It's been fought in a phone box, kids, and it's been an absolute ripper. Five to go as Barlow again lays Ooh. siege with those knees. How's the pace, Fex? The pace of the fight. I thought calling Miller one. <laughs> round four. A bit of a smile and a nod from both these women. Two rounds to go, folks. Two by three minute rounds. Schmidt green shorts. Barlow from the UK in gold shorts. And again, technically proficient on the inside. Yep. The woman is from the UK. Obviously, Andrew still wants her to be aggressive and clinch up. Fighting right above us on this turnbuckle and still maintaining a busy work rate. There's a good clinch down. There's a good grip there from Yolanda. And Yolanda's done well there to negate the right knee pretty quickly of Barlow, but not after, not until she caught a couple, it has to be said. Good fire back. And she's better finishing with the hands there as well, AK. Some interesting and positive signs for the South African slash Australian early in this fourth. Yeah. Oh, she just ate two heavy left knees and buckled a little bit. Such great use of leverage from Barlow, not only in the clinch, but in her shots. Has such untold power. She actually seems an athletic, but a really slight girl, like a, a slight woman. She's yep. not a tank. Like, Yolanda is built. Yep. You see Yolanda, you go, you're an athlete. That's it. Barlow's ability to provide leverage and timing is just sublime. When someone, an athlete, gets to these many fights, it becomes such conditioning in their body. That's why the tyres are so strong at the age of 19, 18. They've had so much conditioning. Yeah, the shins. Like steel. Again, a uh, cracking pace on this up one. Kick. Nice double up and then switches sides. Done that very effectively as the English woman and throws Yolanda Schmidt. There's not too many people that have done that. <laughs> Big hello to Mark, her old man and trainer. He'll no doubt be. He's no doubt screaming. Yes, yes he is. Skipping in is Schmidt. Closes the distance, but then that's not where she really Good wants grip to be. Good grip she's got now, though. She's more in control now, though. Got a great grip. See how she's starting to come back with her knees now? Because she has the right control. That was very well done by Yolanda. A lot of noise here out of Yolanda's corner for the odd one that she copped, but I counted a ratio of two to one there from Barlow <laughs> in that exchange, I have to be honest. She's looking to load that right hand. It's the way forward for you, you really feel. Skipping forward. Trading knees once again. Love this oh. work in the clinch. And Ten just seconds. slips that leg at the correct time to get her opponent off balance. And again, Schmidt, I've called it twice, bounces out of any sort of adversity in such a positive manner. Yep. So great to watch. <laughs> uh, it's still time. Three minutes to go, final round, main event, Yolanda Schmidt and Imam Barlow from Naksu 3.0 for JPS Codings. Oh, good right hand. 
the AK-47 alongside me, Bex Tui, and Yolanda Schmidt has started like a woman who's yeah. been told by her corner, you need a result. Yes, yes 100%. And this has been one of those nights where an impressive final round may just sway it for the Springbok. You just don't know. So much of this fight has been fought at this juncture, in this sort of range. And Barlow, so crafty with that looping trip. And Schmidt awake to it this time. Yeah, still finding it. Hard Still to negate. not negating that yeah. right knee, though, at all, is she? No, it's hard. I tell you what, Yolanda's doing a better job. She's up high underneath, so that's always going to... Look, Barlow's positioning herself just on the outside of... Good kick there from Yolanda, striking away at the ribs. Good pressure. I'm actually... Did I just see Iman slightly fade, or...? She did back away a little there. Yeah. She wasn't, she's been used to controlling the pace. And what I saw there was her go, hang on a minute. Yeah. But to be fair, it's the first time we've seen it. And we've seen it from her opponent a few times tonight, understandably with the pressure that's been put on it. Yeah. Really throwing a lot of knees here in the clincher mark. Scoring huge on the judges' cards. The knee count would have to be one and a half to one at the very yeah. least. There's you would think. two, three. Good three job, to one there. Three to one. Good job. That's a good turn and strike from Yolanda. Knee block there from oh, Amman straight right into him. It was amazing. Ooh. If that hit, we'd be collecting Amman's head from reception. <laughs> <laughs> Backs out at range there, Barlow. She's been so good in close, and then she shows she can work outside as well. Schmidt ties her up nicely. What a powerhouse effort. What we just come to expect from Yolanda Schmidt. Can't be long to go in this one, folks. Knee, knee, knee. There's four in the space of five seconds from these absolute superstars of the sport. Yeah. This was the one, folks, oh, that had big elbow. everyone wetting their lips, and it has delivered. Got Yolanda's spilling out some claret out of her nose now. Not exactly sure what's happened. It might have been a crossing elbow there. I think it was that elbow over in the red corner. And she's got a little bit of lipstick coming out of the nose. But that won't worry the Springbok. With 10 seconds to go, Barlow. Was that the moment? Was that the moment, AK? What a fight. What a cracking main event. By not only two absolutely amazing athletes, but two wonderful role models from opposite sides of the world. And you tell me this isn't the greatest sport in the world. Yeah. Have a look at that. Fantastic. Even the corners congratulating one another. Amazing stuff. Absolutely amazing. And the winner by unanimous points decision is... Red Corner! And there we go. The knees do the business for the pretty killer. Living up to her reputation on her birthday, no less, in her 105th fight. What a cracking fight.